YouTube, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Y'all are gonna be seeing my face a lot now. I've been really lagging it on intro or outro videos. I'm gonna be coming on here to answer key questions. So a lot of the questions that I get on my DMs when I do a haircut for an NFL player, they ask me, how do I get these guys in my chair? How do I get connected with them? Better yet, how do I get these guys to trust me with their hair? With this is y'all have to really grow your Instagram and just be posting daily. You guys get this advice all the time. Post daily content, create credibility with your work and in due time, people will reach out. The way that I found Kai's ear was he actually found me on YouTube first. He was learning how to cut his own hair during the pandemic. He then followed me on Instagram and I saw he followed me, followed him back and then I DM'd him on Instagram to try to get him in my chair. By the grace of God, he saw my message and he was willing to come get a haircut. Treat every single client as an opportunity for you to create a relationship with them. And when the opportunity does come to cut up a NFL, NBA celebrity, or an influencer, any of those people, you guys will already be in the habit of just treating everybody the same, kind of having great intentions behind your service. NFL style clientele, they, they're really busy. So it's not like they're gonna be coming to you every single time. But if they talk about you to their friends, which is their teammates, like potentially the teammates can become your clients as well. And that's what ended up happening with Kaiser. Those are some great tips that you guys can take in terms of how to build NFL clientele. Build your profile, build your social media, and provide value outside of haircut. You know, you guys will be able to capitalize on creating a relationship with these people, and that's all that matters at the end of the day because you guys will be able to leverage off of your network. Besides that, what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is four tips on how to detail your taper haircuts, fade haircuts, whatever, so make sure y'all take notes and you guys let me know down below in the comment section on what videos you guys want me to create next. I'll catch you guys in the tutorial. All right, YouTube, so to get started with this back taper, I'm gonna be using my gamma hitters. We're gonna go about two fingers above the start of that neckline. So once we're done with that, let's open up our lever with our gamma ergos and create a one finger guideline. By one finger, I just mean just put your index finger and your guideline is gonna be as thick as your finger. So then we can blend it using our closed to open lever method. What that means is that we're gonna close our lever, slightly open it little by little until our lever is fully open. So I like going in levels because your lever will tell you exactly where to hit the guideline. So if your lever's in the middle, you wanna hit the guideline from beginning to the middle part. And once it's fully open, like it is right there, you hit the full thing and you keep repeating that process until it's fully blended. So the next step that we're gonna take with the one guard lever open, we're gonna create a one finger guideline, but in this step after the first guideline, we're gonna repeat the close to open lever method with two guards. So it's gonna be kind of like a, a, a close to open times two. So we go with the one guard close to open, slightly open it so it's midway through and we wanna hit the guideline in the middle and you can see with my thumb that I'm moving the lever little by little, opening it for speed. So once you guys are done with that, let's repeat the process with the 0.5 guard, doing close to open, and you guys can see with my thumb, I'm slowly moving the lever down as I work my way up in the guideline. And this is a close to open times two, this is just the second guideline. And right there on the corner, I'm maneuvering the machine just to hit the, the hair against the grain, against the hair growth. So then I can set a one finger guideline with the 1.5 guard. So you guys can either go two directions, the 1.5 guard or the two guard. I decided to go the, with the 1.5 guard. So then all I gotta do now is do close to open now once I have set my one finger guideline. Just keep working, keep working your way. And step number one for detailing. This is the cornering method. A lot of the times we go close to open with one number and the previous guideline is not fully blended. I like doing the cornering method by going one previous guard before that number that we use to set the guideline. So example, the 1.5 guard, one lesser than that is a one guard lever open. So we hit the beginning of the guideline. And now what we're doing is just getting rid of those dense spots at the top of the, of the taper, going with the grain. So when you guys are dealing with curlier hair, coarse hair, especially wave style hair, you guys want to go down with the grain to get rid of any any bulk any dark spots and the most important part of the taper right here is getting rid of that zero line so what i'm doing is going 
maybe towards that one finger uh, line. So we set a two finger guideline in the beginning, hit it at the end of that one finger with your best trimmer and flick out and flick out using your shaver. I use a single foil shaver by Gamma. It's the Uno shaver. Then you get rid of everything below that. Now that you guys know exactly where to hit it with your trimmer, you guys can then refine that area with your shaver again. And you guys won't have to really worry about taking that fade any higher because you guys know that you guys blended everything above those two fingers. So that's the reason why I like just doing the, uh, just getting rid of that bulk at the end of the taper. That's just my preference. And to line up the ear right here, my finger, my middle finger is below the earlobe. And I'm using the right corner, angling the trimmer on its side, using it like a pencil and then working my way back. So you know, that's that's what I like doing in terms of just lining up and getting a crispy lining. And I saw some inconsistencies right there. Wanted to go down with the grain. Like I mentioned, using the cornering method and using the previous guard, the previous number to erase the line or make it easier for you to blend. That's key. So right here for the side taper, I kind of skipped about maybe two steps. So we're in that close to open with the one guard. And then we're going to go from close to open one, one guard to the close to open with the 0.5 guard. It's close to open times two for the second guideline. Always remember that, guys. So right here, I'm using the 0.5 guard. I did mention that I was kind of in a rush with this haircut. You know, I tried my best to create the best style of content for you guys. But this is in real life. You know, it was like my third time ever cutting up an NFL player and I was doing it under pressure. So right here, we're doing it. We're doing a 1.5 guard close to open. You guys can see those smudges right there at the top. I already know that I'm going to have to switch to my one guard and do the cornering method with the one guard lever open. So it's so key for you guys to learn how to use your machine on its corner on its side. It just works well with getting rid of those dark spots. Then I went again and tried it out with the 1.5 1, 1 guard to see if it worked. I was using just kind of like the corners of the of the machine. Then it didn't work, so I went in with my 1.5 guard. And with that left corner right there, I'm aiming for those dark spots right there. That's another tip that you guys can take for detailing. Use the corners, go down with the grain when you are dealing with coarse hair. Let's start hitting that C cup area using the corners of your trimmer like a pencil. And I like doing the corners of this. I like doing the C cup area first before going into the lineup. So right here, just flicking out with my shaver, just refining that area. You can see how blurry this is coming out. And step number three, my third tip for detailing is using the cornering method in that first guideline with your lever open. You guys can see how I tilt that machine and just using the corner. And that just makes all of the difference, guys. You guys just have to be trying new things when you guys go into your haircuts because that's what's gonna make the difference in your skill set, your hand-eye coordination. And with repetition, you guys will be able to get better. So right here with the hairline, just keeping everything natty, just taking my time, using my middle finger as support right there on his forehead. Just working my way back. Just very, very soft touch. Very soft touch, guys. You guys don't have to apply that much pressure. And the fourth tip that I have for you guys is using your shears. So you guys can use them two ways. You guys can use this technique right here where I'm kind of sing singling out the dark spots with this, the, the holes of the comb. Or you guys can do the point cutting method right here where it's just kind of just aiming for darker spots. And you guys are kind of just poking holes at the hair, but specifically the dark spots. And a fifth thing that you guys can do as well, I didn't put this in the video, so you guys can also apply some enhancements, which will make a difference. Very light enhancements when you guys are already done with the haircut. Enhancements is just to enhance the haircut, not to hide inconsistencies. You know, you see my boy just feeling himself, you know, I just executed the haircut the way he that he wanted it he was very happy he's been coming to me for a, for a minute now and he plays for a different team so you know he's out there in philadelphia shout out to my boy kaiser white guys an animal had over a hundred tackles last year i wish the chargers would have re-signed him man like so disappointed tom telesco get your head out of your ass man you gotta re-sign 
fucking goats you know appreciate y'all for watching this video let me know down below what you guys think of this content and subscribe for more videos i'll catch you guys next week peace